As they gear up for their season opener, it's time to catch up with Ole Miss volleyballer Peyton Bergach, who's heading into her sophomore season with the Rebs. Peyton, what was last season like? Obviously, you were adjusting to the college game from the high school level. You had a first-year head coach, and of course, there was all of the stipulations and restrictions with COVID. How did you and your teammates navigate all that? Yeah, it was a roller coaster of emotions for sure. We, I think we got so much closer just because we could only spend time with each other on and off the court. And we had both the fall and spring season, which was the longest spring, the longest season in history for right. college volleyball. Um, so while it was a lot of fun, it was hard, really hard. I will, I continue to say it was as hard as it was fun. Um, but yeah, a big, huge adjustment, not only to the college game and everything in college life, but also to a whole new world that nobody else had experienced with COVID and stuff. At the same time, you always hear that players make their biggest jump between year one and year two. So for you, full years in the weight room, uh, on the court with your coaches, where do you think you've grown the most heading into your sophomore season? Yeah, um, I could not agree more with that statement. I'm really excited about the season for that reason. Um, and honestly, I don't. I think my biggest jump has been more in my leadership role and kind of the role I've taken on the team rather than um, – something athletically or skills wise well that has been a major improvement in lifting and stuff um I've just kind of stepped into a different role than I had my freshman year um I think that came with growing um relationships with a lot of the girls and tr that trust um so it's been really fun I have a better relationship with the coaches than I did last year and just because we've had more time um gotten getting to know each other so I'm excited because there's a whole new role world that we haven't explored as a team and we have a lot of newcomers and just as many incomers or returners so it's gonna be really fun yeah you mentioned the new faces who's standing out to you there's tons of uh, new talent being influxed in with this team and and what have all those new faces done to the level of competition at practice yeah it's been awesome as much um as a, we have a really big team which has been really cool in practice because we get to play each other a lot really intensely um, so, I mean, our fifth year grad transfers, Kylie and Sam Bergio have been awesome additions to our team. Just so much knowledge about the game, so much experience that we didn't have last year. We had a young team, um, with seven freshmen in the, on a 15 person team. Like it was insane. So they brought in experience, a whole new different set of knowledge. And we have some freshmen who have been dialed in since day one, had the same goal as us. Um, so it's been really good to kind of all come together with a group who, knows what Caleb Anworth wants for a program and knows what we want for a program and then a group who has the same mindset and just had to like navigate it a little bit in the summer but we're excited within the first week of uh within the week of your first match I should say what are the final touches that need to be put on this team as you guys gear up for Troy and UAB that first weekend yeah we're really really excited to get started it's so much different than last year um when we finished two days last year we didn't have another game for two three months so we're excited. Um, I think a lot of the things are coming together. Two days has been really good for us um, on and off the court. So just some finishing touches on technique stuff um, and rotations, team dynamics. So the next week will be really fun, really exciting. It's crazy that we leave a week from yesterday to play our first game, but we're excited. Then you get to return home for a, for a tournament here this season, hopefully in front of a packed house. Uh, Peyton, what, what do you guys want to show the Ole Miss fans this year, uh, particularly in that opening weekend when they get to see you for the first time here in 2021. Yeah, it's crazy that just the idea of thinking of a packed house, which is I'm a sophomore and I have never played in front of such a thing. Um, and the same goes for the coaches uh, here. So we're excited just to show them kind of what Ole Miss volleyball is about. Uh, the atmosphere and the culture we've created is totally flipped and new and fun. And even the people who have come seen us during two days said the same thing. But culture just seems super fun and light and it's been so much fun to practice with this group so I think a lot of it is things that aren't even skill level it's what we bring the attitude and energy and just like love for each other that you don't really get in a lot of D1 programs. Well Peyton you're awesome we're excited to see what your sophomore season holds and uh, we're excited to get you back in town and, and watch you play here in Oxford so best of luck next weekend and have a great season. Thank you so much.